Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing a video on how to record yourself performing at home. I think this is a really relevant topic for a lot of people right now because we've had to switch a lot of our end of the year performances and recitals to online formats. I know the students at Sistema MB are working hard recording videos and practicing for the online music festival. So this video is just going to be a little checklist of do's and don'ts for when you're recording your performance video at home. You don't have to have any high-tech equipment to record your performance. Whatever device you've been using for your online lessons is going to be just fine. All you need is a camera to record on a phone or a tablet or a laptop and something to prop your device up high enough. What the adjudicators and audience members are going to want to see in your video is both arms. So you're going to need to position your camera so that it shows your, your bow arm as well as your left hand fingers. Before you record the whole performance, have your camera set up. Either it's sticky tacked to a music stand, it's propped up on a bookshelf, or your parent or brother or sister is recording. Record a couple seconds, stop, and then go and see what the video actually looks like. So based on watching what I just recorded, I realized that when I was at the tip of the bow, you couldn't see my whole bow arm and you couldn't see my bow hand. So I'm gonna to have to move back, reposition, Now, most smartphones or tablets or laptops have pretty decent audio quality, but that might be something you want to check in your initial um, camera frame check that the audio is working correctly and you can hear yourself loud and clear in the playback. Once you're happy with the positioning and placement of your camera, just make sure that a couple of other things are in place. So you want to have your music stand or your music taped to the wall at a high enough level so you're standing up nice and tall and it doesn't take you out of the camera frame. You also want to make sure that your face is seen in the video. So if you have long hair like mine, try not to let it cover your face during the performance. Um, the expression on the performer's face is a big part of the musical performance. So make sure that the adjudicators and the audience can see that. It's also nice if you could introduce yourself and the piece that you're performing. If you are playing along with the audio file of a harmony part that your teacher has sent, don't be afraid to wear the headphones in your video. One last thing, if you are recording on a smartphone or a tablet and your phone is set to selfie mode, it will actually record you backwards. <laughs> so it will look like your left hand is using the bow and the right hand is doing the fingers. I would advise against selfie mode. Have your camera on the regular outward angle mode. If you do film on selfie mode, you can generally flip the image when you're uploading the video. So just be aware of that in your recording process. Have fun with this cool new recording experience and please leave any comments below if anything is unclear or you have further questions. Happy recording!